Hi everybody, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to add simulated trades in the Thinkorswim trading platform. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, welcome back to all of our subscribers and a very warm welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and we make videos just like this on a consistent basis where we talk about the stock market and options trading and all things think or swim. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider clicking this button right here and subscribing to our channel. We have a lot of things planned out in the future. You guys won't want to miss it. While you're clicking that button, click that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future content. All right, guys, let's jump right in. Today, we're going to be talking about the uh, basically how to add simulated trades in Thinkorswim. Now, that is found right here in the Analyze tab. So we're going to be focusing on basically three things today. How to add simulated trades, also looking at this risk profile, and then probability analysis. And I'm going to show you guys a few things in these tabs that are really going to help you analyze your trades a lot better. But let me just show you first. Uh, what we're looking at. So if we're looking at the trade tab, and right now I've got SMH pulled up. Let's say SMH has been trading at a range. You maybe want to put a trade on in SMH, uh, maybe like an iron condor or something because you want to take advantage of this stock trading sideways. So you're looking at maybe selling a call credit spread uh, up here above the market and then a put credit spread somewhere down here below the market. And you want to analyze that and see how it looks. So, you know, there's a couple of ways we can put this trade into the Analyze tab. Number one, we can go to the Analyze tab and just enter it in the Analyze tab, or we can put it in the Trade tab and then throw it into the Analyze tab. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do both of those here. So let's start out with the Trade tab first. Let's just say you're in the Trade tab, you're looking at possibly putting a trade on uh, in the 18 January series and we're looking at putting maybe an iron condor or something on here in SMH. Now, again, guys, I'm not recommending you make this trade. I just want to show you this as a demonstration. So for demonstration purposes, let's say we're looking at the uh, 102, 107, 81, 76 uh, iron condor. So let's come in here and build out a trade in here. So we're looking at the 18 January series, 2019. We're looking at building out an iron condor. And we're gonna put this out here around the 15, 16 deltas because that's gonna give us a one standard, about a one standard deviation uh, range. So uh, for our break even points to be outside that one standard deviation range. Now, if you're not familiar with what a one standard deviation range is, we have some videos that talk about this. We'll briefly touch on it here in this video, but it's really cool to be able to analyze these trades to know where that one standard deviation move is gonna be and then build your trades out outside of that to build your probabilities in making your trades more successful. So we're gonna build this trade out here about the 16 delta. So we're looking here in the delta column on the put side. We're finding that 16 delta, we can see that right there. So that's gonna be the 81 strike. So we're gonna go ahead and sell the 81 strike. Now again, we are inside the trade tab. I'm gonna show you guys how to throw this trade into the analyze tab once we build it so we're looking at the 81 uh, strike to sell that so we're going to sell the 81 and then come out here to um, i'm sorry we're looking at yeah the 81 on the put side and then uh coming down to the 76 to to buy protection so we're going to buy that 76 so hold down your control key and then click that ask on the uh, on the put there and you can see that we're it's setting up a vertical spread here. Now we're gonna come out here on the call side and do the same thing. And by, by selling a call credit spread and selling a put credit spread, we're basically making an iron condor. Now, if those sold strikes were, those sold center strikes were the same strike, that would be an iron butterfly, but they're not in this case. So that's gonna be an iron condor. So let's come over here to the call side and we're gonna be looking at selling the 102, 107 call credit spread. So coming down here to the 102, again, we're gonna hold down the control key, we're gonna click the uh, the bid, and then we're gonna come out here to the 107, and then we're gonna click on the ask by holding down that control key. And you can see now that Thinkorswim recognizes this as an iron condor. So good deal, right? You can see that this spread here is selling for 96 cents. Now. Maybe we want to analyze this trade. So let's go ahead and throw this into the Analyze tab. All you got to do is come down here anywhere in here, anywhere on your order, and just right-click. And now you can see it gives you that option right here to uh, 
uh, analyze that trade. So click the analyze trade. And what it does now is it throws it right here in your analyze tab. So you can see now we've jumped over here to the analyze tab and now we're in the analyze side where we can actually look at risk profiles and probability analysis. So let's come in here to the risk profile and you can see that here's our risk profile. It shows our iron, our iron condor in here. You can see our sold strikes uh, here where it, it makes this inflection. Um, you can see where our break even points are and, and you can set those break even points. These slices here are movable. So let's say you came in here and these slices are, are not you know, at your break even points, which are these little red lines here. Those are your break even points at expiration. So let's say you wanted to set those. You could just come right in here and go set slices to break even, and then you pick that expiration day. Uh, this day right here is the day that it actually is, as of today. Uh, right here is our expiration day of January 19th. It, that's the Saturday, but it actually expiration Friday is the 18th. So you're gonna click that, and that's going to move your break even points right out here so that you can see where that range is. So, our, so if we went back over here to the chart, we could throw these right on our chart by doing this, by coming set slices to chart and we throw these break even points on our chart and you can see what a wide range we have for this stock to move around in. So we could trade all the way up here before we start getting uh, outside of our break even points at expiration or all the way down here. So quite a range. I mean, we're talking from clear up here to about 103 down here to about $80. So big range that this stock can move in. And to sell that, we're gonna get that 96 cent credit. Now let's come back in here to our analyze tab. And I wanna show you guys how to use this probability analysis right here. So when we click this probability analysis, you can see that our, our uh, break even points are already plotted here on the chart because we've set those here in our risk profile. We've already set these break even points in our risk profile. So when we come to our probability analysis, you can see that those break even points are already populated in here. So our break even point on the upside is $102.94 and then down on the bottom side it's $80.02. So we get an idea here by looking at this uh, probability analysis of where that one standard deviation is. So if you remember on this iron condor, we sold this uh, in the January 18 series. So you can see right here is that January 18 series or 18th of January. And you can see that this cone right here is the cone of probability or the probability of expiring cone. And we have that set at the one standard deviation. And now you can change that right up here but it's automatically set at the one standard deviation of 68.27. So 68.27% of the time, the stock is gonna trade inside of this range right here, inside of this cone. But the standard, one standard deviation is 68.27%. So let's say for example, in this trade right here, our break even points are at $80 and $102. And we're gonna be looking at the 18th of January series. And you can see that right down here, if we look in this in these price slices or just above this price slices here, you can see that it already plots those in here. So the 8002 and the 102.94 is this number right here. And basically it's saying, if we come out here to the January 18 series, there's a 67.46% uh, chance that the stock is going to remain inside our break even points. Our cone out here is 68.27, but our chances of this stock staying inside our break even points is 67.47. So to give you an idea, you know, our, the, the one standard deviation is right out here at this cone, and you can see that our break even points are just inside on that upside and just outside on the downside. So this gives you an idea of where that one standard deviation move is gonna be. And then depending on your strategy, uh, whether you're gonna hold this all the way to expiration, you'll have an idea of where that stock could possibly be out into the future based on this one standard deviation move. Now, for an iron condor, I like to take these trades off at about 50% of max profit. So here we are back here uh, around uh, the end of, uh, end of November, 
and we're looking at selling it out here, clear out to the uh, 18th of January. So, you know, if we were to pay, uh, take this trade, we'd be looking at this trade staying in this range and then losing time value and uh, time decay and theta decay and all those other things would would make this option spread decrease in value to that 50% mark before we actually hit our expiration. But if we had to go all the way to expiration, this cone of probability of this one standard deviation would give us an idea of where that stock could be out in the future. Uh, does it mean that it's gonna stay inside that one standard deviation? No, it doesn't, but it gives us an idea that 68% of the time, this is where that stock's gonna be. We might have, a, the stock could move clear up here, uh, come back in, but around uh, expiration, it's saying that 68% of the time, it's gonna be within this, within this cone of probability. So hopefully that's been helpful you understand that. When you're looking at this, uh, you know, the probabilities of your, uh, your spread expiring in the money, out of the money, um, and looking at where that one standard deviation is, this probability analysis can really give you an idea and a visual of where your break even points are and where that cone of probability is. Now you can also take this cone of probability and add it to your chart. So how would that be? I mean, you can just come right in here to your chart and you could put this cone of probability right out here on your chart. And I've done just that. And I, I like to put that out here on my chart so that I can see out into the future of where that uh, stock is most likely to trade out here. So this gives us an idea of how much volatility uh, we're looking at into the future in, in this stock. So I like doing that. Anyway, hopefully that's been helpful and hopefully you understand what I'm talking about here. But now let me just show you how to put this trade on in the, if you just wanted to analyze it through the analyze tab and add a simulated trade. So it's basically the same setup, but you're not having to throw it from the trade tab over to the analyze tab. You're already building it out here in the analyze tab. So it'd be the same same situation you come right in here you're going to sell uh you're going to sell those spreads at you know 102 107 and 81 and 76 and it, it's it's basically going to be the same thing so so give me uh give me some comments below if uh what you guys think of the analyze tab if you use it a lot if you like it if you felt this video has been helpful uh consider giving it a thumbs up uh subscribing to our channel if you haven't as i said we have a lot of great videos coming out in the future won't want to miss that. Again, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.